Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on three different ways a drum brake assembly can stick on. Don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com and subscribe to my social media pages such as Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links are in the description below. Having a drum brake assembly stick on can either mean the vehicle won't move at all, or it'll create excessive drag, therefore resulting in extreme heat, damaging multiple components in the process. You may also see poor acceleration, poor braking performance, the vehicle pulls to one side, and an increase in fuel consumption. Starting with issue number one, the wheel cylinder may become seized. Over time this may become rusty or filled with dirt, which is usually a result from failing boots. Wheel cylinders have both a front and rear piston, therefore two in total. Either one or both pistons can become seized. To determine if the wheel cylinder is faulty, you should be able to push the pad inward from each side to the other if the pistons aren't bottomed out. If they are bottomed out, then have a second person being extremely careful, lightly to press the brake pedal. Do not go too far as you do risk pushing the piston completely out. In order to remove the drum, the automatic adjuster can be backed off through the small hole in the backing plate. If that fails, then you may need to cut down the hold down spring pins on the back side through the backing plate or either remove the wheel cylinder completely. As for repairing the issue, there's three different solutions. You can rebuild the wheel cylinder yourself, have someone rebuild the unit for you, or purchase a new replacement. If you are rebuilding it yourself, the pistons can normally be removed by using compressed air, or in an extreme situation, pump the wheel cylinder with grease, which in turn will push the pistons out. Moving on to the second issue, a stuck emergency brake. Emergency brake cables can become filled with dirt or rust, which will prevent them from returning to their freed position. This can happen to both a vehicle which has never used the emergency brake, or ones that are used all the time. Normally if they are used, this does reduce the risk of them sticking. This can happen to one or both sides of the vehicle. If you recently apply the emergency brake, then this could possibly be the culprit. If not, then the issue does not relate to the emergency brake assembly. Try to apply the emergency brake depending on the assembly's design, or if there is an issue with both cables, you won't feel tension on a lever when pulling it upwards, or pushing down if you have an emergency brake pedal. Another reason for not feeling tension on the lever is if the emergency brake is in need of adjustment. To repair or assist in the repair, sometimes you can reverse the vehicle which will push the shoes back, but this only works in a mild situation. Other times you can jiggle the cable to help reduce the tension or back the automatic adjuster off. As a final solution, cut the emergency brake cable directly behind the drum brake assembly. Considering the cable or cables are faulty, they will need to be replaced regardless. If you did manage to get the cable to return, the issue will return again. Purchase a new replacement cable. Finally, the third issue. The final issue can be caused by rusted brake shoes. This normally happens if the vehicle has been sitting for a longer period of time and will also depend on the composition of the braking shoe material. This won't cause drag on the drum but rather the drum to stick completely on and the vehicle won't move or at least the wheel won't move. In a mild situation you should be able to drive the vehicle in reverse which will break the shoes free. Driving the vehicle forward will most likely not work as the drum brake assembly is self-energizing and will only push more against the braking surface rather than allowing the drum to rotate. In a severe situation you will need to disassemble the brake drum completely, backing off the automatic adjuster, then either using a puller or cutting the hold down pins, then replace any parts as needed. Be sure to stay up to date with my latest videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.